What a difference a year makes. Last year, there was nobody here. It was just us. In front of the altar, all of the equipment for live streaming, mounted on tables and chairs and more tables. And if anybody will blow to it, everything will come apart. What a difference. Christ is risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. We finally got to the finish line for the race we started at the beginning of Lent. We finally got to the place where we can now grab the prize that we all were desiring during Lent, salvation. Jesus Christ is risen. He defeated death and is now seated at the right hand of the Father. Christ is risen, alleluia. alleluia. But we have really, have we really done something to deserve or to earn salvation? Have we really done something to get the price that Jesus conquered for us? Can I really obtain salvation out of my own merits? No. There is actually nothing I can do out of my own to obtain salvation because God gives it to us for free. He gave his only beloved son for us and he did it because he loves us. We can have what we can do, what we can do is actually once we get it or to get it, we need to accept it. We need to accept salvation as a gift from God. And once we have accepted salvation as a gift from God, we can become missionary disciples as God wants us to be. Christ is risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. What does it mean when we say missionary disciples? In the gospel, we just heard that Mary Magdalene, the men in the tomb, told her, go, go and tell them that Jesus will be ahead of them. In about 40 days, we will listen to another gospel in which Jesus is going to tell his disciples, go to the entire world and evangelize it. Go and baptize them, and whomever believes in me will be saved. Whomever does not believe will be condemned. At the end of Mass, we hear the same words every time. Mass is ended, go in peace, or something similar. But we were always sent out to the world to witness our faith. We can conclude then that to be missionary disciples, we have to be constantly moving. We have to be constantly on the go. Christ is risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Some of you may remember that last year, I challenged you at the beginning of Lent. And I challenged you to experience Lent in a way that you had not experienced it before. Well, today I have another challenge for you. Today I would like to challenge all of us to become missionary disciples to become the missionary disciples that God wants us to be and become true witnesses of the faith that we proclaim. I challenge you that together we convert our community into a community into which everyone is welcome and everyone is respected a community that celebrates liturgies and receives sacraments, not because it's an obligation or because it's tradition, 
but because we truly understand the graces and desire the graces that will be received through the celebration of the Eucharist, liturgies, and sacraments. Christ is risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I challenge you that together we convert our community into a community where prayer is an essential element of our identity. A community where everyone finds different ways to serve one another. A community with a sense of ownership and a sense of belonging to St. Stanislaus Parish, to our parish. A community where love can be felt in everything we do, in everything we say. A community that is generous in charity. A community that learn to forgive those who trespass against us. I challenge you to become a community that truly believes in our mission statement. When you take your bulletin, look in the second page on the upper side of the second page. That is our mission statement. That is what is supposed to identify us. So I challenge you to become a community that truly believes in the mission statement that says, gather as one around Jesus Christ in the Eucharist. We seek to build a strong family of faith in our diversity, sensitive to the needs of all. We journey together to our heavenly homeland, encouraging all to share their gifts and live the will of God. Christ is risen, alleluia. I believe we can achieve this conversion. I believe we can become the community that God wants us to be. I believe that St. Stanislaus will intercede for each one of us as we begin the journey to another encounter with the resurrected Christ. I truly believe that the saints whose relics are in this altar, Saint Junipero Serra, Saint Peter Chanel, and Saint Therese of Baby Jesus, I believe they will also be interceding for us as we become a missionary community. Christ is risen, hallelujah.